what I mean You too, team, keep it clean You see my boy, he like gotta made it Gotta made it Well, that's my homie, ain't that right and graven Right and graven Yesterday when it was announced officially that the Ravens hired Todd Munkin to be their new offensive coordinator, uh, it got a lot of people excited. Uh, but then it led to a lot of people saying absolute statements following that. And two of those absolute statements were, all right, now that the Ravens hired Todd Munkin to be their offensive coordinator, Lamar for sure is staying. He ain't going anywhere. And then there was some on the exact opposite side that said, all right, now that the Ravens have announced that Todd Munkin is going to be the new offensive coordinator, <laughs> By Lamar, he's leaving, he's getting traded. And what's interesting, uh, and then of course there were a lot of comments that were right in the middle, um, but what the truth is, we just don't know. We, we, we really do not know. Um, and anytime you enter into a situation with somebody um, and you all have a certain goal in mind, uh, there are gonna be some different factors uh, to consider uh, that can either help you or obstruct you from reaching that goal. Now, with Everybody who interviewed for the Baltimore Ravens offensive coordinator job, I'm sure the number one question, hey, um, is Lamar Jackson going to be here for the foreseeable future? Are you, is, is he staying? Are you guys going to keep him? Are you going to be able to retain him? Because I need to know what I'm working with. And according to jo Jordan Schultz, the answer was we don't know. The report from Jordan Schultz, he said, uh, sources, OC candidates who interviewed with the Ravens were not given full assurances that Lamar Jackson will be the quarterback next season. So that didn't say from outside people. That didn't say from an NFL execs. That didn't say from a reporter. That didn't say from other teams. No, 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 no. This said the same, hey, I'm 200% confident Lamar Jackson's going to be our quarterback. And again, like I said, after the presser, there were some people that got upset with me when I said it after the presser. I said they said all the right things, but now it's about that action. But anyway, so sources, all OC candidates who interview with the Ravens, not with somebody else, with the Ravens, were not given full assurances that Lamar Jackson will be the quarterback next season. That means the Ravens let them know. Anybody who interviewed, like, look, dog, I, <laughs> we might not have it. <laughs> we, we want it, but we might not have it. But anyway, uh, Baltimore was clear it wants Lamar back, but truly doesn't know what the offseason holds. And that's real right there. That's real. They don't know. Uh, we don't know. We all just waiting to see what goes down. Um, but for an offensive coordinator to be told that, like about Lamar Jackson and the Ravens, like that's why we all continue to say, like I know John Harbaugh said, oh yeah, this is the most attractive job. This is the one that everybody wants. But this is the job with the most uncertainty at the most important position because nobody knows. Nobody knows. People hope. People wish. People even pray <laughs> for one way or another for something to happen. But the point is that nobody knows. My guy, Mr. M, he made a really good point um, on Twitter. He said that he felt like this was a safe hire for the Baltimore Ravens, Todd Munkin. Because he said with Todd Munkin, um, if Lamar is there, great. But he also felt like it's an option that the Ravens could do all right if Lamar is not there. And I was like, oh, well. And in the coming days, we're going to get some more insight on Todd Monk, and we got a special guest coming on the channel soon. But anyway, we'll talk about that when we do. Let's look at this report from Jordan Schultz. Uh, and again, he says, sources, Ravens didn't assure OC candidates that Lamar Jackson will return. The Baltimore Ravens didn't provide full assurances that Lamar Jackson will return as a team's quarterback in 2023 while conducting offensive coordinator interviews. Sources told Jordan Schultz, uh, Jackson is expected to receive the franchise tag this offseason, keeping him off the free agent market after he played out the final year of his rookie contract. The two sides continue lack of progress towards a long term deal could potentially open the door for teams around the league to tempt the Ravens with trade offers. And yes, that is the truth. We know that. We've talked about it. Y'all know that already. Um, the, the longer this thing takes, the more chances it is that this could be the end. Well, actually, last year could have been the end, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway. Baltimore wants Jackson to return, but the organization is currently unsure how the situation with his star quarterback will unfold in the coming weeks, sources said. Ravens head coach John Harbaugh said during his end-of-season press conference, I'm glad they included this part in here, uh, that he was 200% confident Jackson is the team's quarterback of the future. So, yeah, he, he told the fans what they want to hear. Well, what a lot of the fans want to hear. There's some fans that are 200% sure that they want Lamar Jackson out. They want him gone. But most fans uh, want Lamar Jackson to stay. 
Anyway, um, there's no question about it. Lamar Jackson is our quarterback, Harbaugh said. Everything we've done in terms of building our offense and building our team is based on this incredible young man and his talent. Ooh, that was another lie right there by John Harbaugh. Because the way that they built the offense was not for Lamar Jackson. It was for Greg Roman, but now Greg Roman is no longer here. But that's another point that I saw somebody make, too, um, that with Todd Monken, uh, with the personnel that the Ravens have. Because uh, obviously you want somebody who goes in a completely different direction than Greg Roman was headed or was going in. Um, but with Todd Monken, uh, they feel like he's somebody that can work with the current personnel that the Ravens have. Now, hopefully the Ravens get even better personnel as far as players and stuff. But they feel like Todd Monken is somebody that can come in and work with the guys that they got. But anyway, continuing. Um, it says Jackson has been one of the league's most electrifying playmakers since the Ravens drafted him in 2018, winning MVP honors in the second season and leading Baltimore to a 45-16 record and 61 starts. Every time I see that, that's crazy. That's crazy. 45 and 16? That's like, that's, that's insane. Anyway, uh, injuries forced him to miss the final four games in 2021 and the last five games in 2022. Uh, Ravens parted ways with longtime offensive coordinator Greg Roman following the 2022 campaign. Todd Monken has since been hired as his replacement after winning back-to-back -back national titles in the same role at Georgia. So, Todd Monken. Um, a lot of pressure on him, uh, but he decided, hey, apparently he turned down the buck, so uh, no thanks, I'm not going backwards. I'm not coming back there. I want to move forward. So with Todd Munkin, he got a big opportunity in front of him because he has the opportunity, whether with or without Lamar Jackson, uh, to really turn this Ravens offense around. Um, and if he can do that, then he'll have all, all eyes on him. He'll have a lot more eyes on him. Now, if he does it with Lamar Jackson, oh, yeah, it'll be a lot of eyes on him. But if he does it without, then it'll be even more because it will be even more impressive. Um, whoever they get at quarterback, whatever happens at quarterback, hopefully it is with Lamar. But obviously, based on this, and, and y'all already knew this even before this report came out, that it's not a guarantee that Lamar Jackson is back with the Baltimore Ravens. Woo. This offseason, man, this offseason, uh, we like only officially like – it's Wednesday. We like th officially three days in to the entire offseason for everybody. I know Ravens offseason started like a month ago when they lost in the playoffs. Uh, shout out to the QB sneak. But anyway, we are so early in the offseason. And as, as we said, we said this during the season that this was going to be the craziest Ravens offseason ever. No matter what happens. But it's going to be the craziest Ravens offseason ever. So much change. So much potential on this and that. And so much that we just don't know, and we just sitting here waiting. Uh, but like Lamar could possibly be, and like the Ravens told offensive coordinator candidates in the interviews that Lamar could possibly be this season when it comes to being the quarterback for the Baltimore Ravens, we out. Yeah, this feels like a dream.